Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on 5mm hot rolled steel. So the first action is the cleaning action, which is we're going to use a grinder to grind our points where we're going to be welding. After this, what you can see now is our torch gun angles. So we're looking about a 45 degree angle and then a 15 degree push angle. So on this first run, first aim of this first one of three is to get full penetration into the material. In order to achieve this, we're going to be welding at 6 meters per minute or 236 inches per minute and using 22 and a half volts to ensure that we get full penetration on our first run. To ensure that you're penetrating into the material you need a good consistent travel speed and you also need to be watching that you're fusing in both to the top plate of the T-fillet and the bottom plate. You will immediately know as a welder if you're doing this correct as you'll notice where you puddle and how it flows. If it's not working correctly you'll get something that's called cold roll. So moving on to the second run, our welding angle has now changed to 65 degrees and what we're trying to create is a weld pool that covers three quarters of the first run and also penetrates into the bottom plate. In order to help us achieve this we are using a 75-25 gas mix which is 75% argon and 25% CO2. So to finish off our final run, we drop our angle down to about 30 degrees. So the aim of this, as we can see from the last one, the second one has set us up really nicely with the aim of covering half of the second run, but also maintaining our height on the weld to ensure that our leg lengths are consistent. So we're now coming to the end of our third run and as you can see from the finished result all our leg lengths are even and the world looks consistent throughout. So we're now going to do the same thing however the only difference is that we're going to do now is we're going to put the world implant on pulse settings. When we refer to pulse it refers to the technique of alternating the welding current between high and low levels at a set frequency. So the pulse and the welding current creates an overlapping of weld droplets that can help control the heat input and improve the overall quality of the weld. So pulse MIG is often used where a high level of precision and control is required, such as welding thin materials or when welding in a position that makes it difficult to control the heat input. By using pulse the welder can reduce the overall heat input while still achieving good fusion between the two pieces still being welded. And as you'll notice, the difference in the sound is very different to what a normal MIG set sounds like. It is because it keeps switching from low frequency to high frequency in a continuous cycle. So on this video we've looked at spray settings and also pulse settings and on this video you can see on the screen now we're going to show you how to weld horizontally. We'll see you across there.